Hello, welcome back to Finish Flies. Last week was on lock mask for the World Cup 2009. Uh, looking up, I was there doing a bit of demonstrating and selling a few flies. And just like to thank those who assisted us at lock mask. We raised over a thousand pounds for the Sun's charity. The Sun basically had an accident about nine weeks ago and is paralysed from the waist down. So all the guys that helped out at lock mask, thank you very much indeed. So what I'm going to do today is a tie, uh, tie a fly uh, down at Lock Mask, it was a green peter, but this one was a deer hair peter, so what we're going to do now is tie the deer hair peter. Right, here we go, starting off tying the fly and using the uh, Camasan B175. Normally this is tied in a size 12, but just for demonstration purposes, we're doing that on a 10. So we start off setting the bed of silk, this is the brown gutterman. So bring the thread just slightly shy the bend of the hook. The ribbon on this here is going to be uh, medium oval tinsel. So we set that in. Next thing we're going to be putting in this is on the picture is the red butt. So just a wee pinch of red dubbin. The body on this is going to be the, uh, the dark olive. This is the Charlie here with uh, orange glister. The reason for the glister is just to add a bit more attraction for the fly going through the waters. The likes of Melvin and all this here with the peaty waters definitely uh, attracts a fish. So catch on the, the dubbin, just come back one turn and build up the body. Just show the eye of the hook. Right, now we've got this here, the body hackle, I'm using a green mo hackle for this one. So catch him in. Four turns is more than enough for the body hackle. Once you've got him browned, I'm going to catch that in the silver rib. Four turns of the silver rib. Catch him in. Jump off the excess. What we do now is just build that up. Just a wee base. Next thing we're going to do is the wing. This is the deer here. So, take off a wee lump of deer here, make sure I've got all the loose fibres out, get them level. want this just to protrude over the hook, so what we do is just set him on there, hold him nice and tight, pinch and loop. Obviously I'll put a few good turns just to hold him down. Trim off the waist. Right, now we've got the wing, we just bed this all down and one wee tip that we do from this here. See how the wing is all splayed up? You just pull that back, bring him along and you just put one light turn and cross back over, bring this forward, bed it in, and you see how it set the wing down. So that's the wing set in there. Right, next thing we're going to do is the hackle. So, green well again, just catch him in. Put a nice good bushy hackle, we want this fly to skate across the water. Tie the hackle in. Trim. Just check, make sure everything's okay on this. Pull the hackles back just to get any of those stragglers. That's them there. Right, to finish the fly, what I use is claret dyed cock pheasant. Two fibres. Just set them in. 
hold, pinch a loop, bring it down, a couple of turns in, trim it off, just gently bring him forward, bring your silk over, and what we do, just tie him in. finish, trim off and there we go. That's my version of the Red Arse Peter, very good flight to be using on the lakes at this time of the year. So as you say over here, happy wrappings.